Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today we are going to talk about what could happen for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Let's get into it shall we? So to start with, I was thinking, Sword and Shield hasn't added all the Pokemon back into the game. So I think just to add make sure that every Pokemon makes it back into Sword and Shield, I think Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield 25th Anniversary Content Seasons. To celebrate the 25th Anniversary of Pokemon, four seasons of content will be brought out to the game throughout 2021. So January 1st to March 31st will be season of the regions this season brings back the rest of the pokemon that haven't been spotted in gallic yet along with legenda max legenda max is basically gigantamax but for legendaries and some features from different regions week one being the kanto region adds the rest of kanto and Legenda Max Mewtwo. Week 2, Johto adds the rest of Johto and brings the Gigantamax Johto starters. But I didn't mention the Kanto starters last time since the Kanto starters technically already have Gigantamax forms. And Legenda Max Ho Oh and Lugia dependent. On which version of the game you're using. Week 3 adds the rest of Hoenn, Pokey Blocks, the Gigantamax Hoenn starters, and Legendamax Groudon and Kyogre, also depending on which version you're using, and adds the Red Orb and Blue Orb to the Dynite Ore Trainer in the cave where the Dynamax adventures take place. Week 4, being Sinnoh, it's quite obvious what gets added. The rest of Sinnoh, the Gigantamax Sinnoh starters, and Legendamax, Dialga, and Palkia. Week 5, I kind of like this one, but adds the rest of Unova. The Gigantamax Unova starters... Legenda Max, Reshiram, and Zekrom. And they could add this to, to Windon City or, or Pokestar Studios in Windon, but it's run by Nate and Rosa from Pokemon Black and White 2 this time. Week 6 adds the rest of Carlos with the, the rest of Carlos. The Gigantamax Kalos starters. They had to add a, a Gigantamax Greninja in at some point. Because why isn't Greninja in Sword and Shield? He was Google's Pokemon of the Year. And the Gendamax, Xenias, and Wyveltal. Pokepuffs. And Pokemon and Me built in to Pokemon Camp. Week 7 adds the Alola region, Gigantamax Alola starters, Legendamax Solgaleo and Lunala, Poke Pelago, and Battle Royal Dome at Windon. The rest of the season will just add iconic features from each region and will add Legendamax forms for other legendaries like Zygarde or Rayquaza or any legendary I didn't mention just then. Limited time features, Legendamax Dens and the Gigantamax Pokemon. But, but once you catch the Gigantamax Pokemon, you get to keep them. And the permanent features are, you could keep the Pokemon once the season ends. All Pokemon added will stay in the wild area, the Isle of Armor 
and the Crown Tundra. Pokeblox, Pokestar Studios, Pokemon Ami, and Pokepelago. National decks will be added with the Legenda Max categories added in. Legenda Max Soup Chef in the Dynamax Cave, you will need a Legenda Max gem for this. So, how do you get one, you may ask? So, if you are fighting a legendary Pokemon in Legenda Max form that you've already caught, you will get given a Legenda Max gen. So, you then you can take it into the Dynamax cave. There's a chef there, and if you give one of your legendaries the Legenda Max suit, they have the capability of Legenda Maxing. April 1st to June 30th, the season of the stadium. This season adds six empty gyms throughout Gala, and you can only choose one gym to call yours. You can choose any type you like. You can create your own gym challenge and you could place create your uniform festival plaza will come back built in to your stadium dynamax pokemon of your chosen type can appear you can have 50 trainers at your stadium at the same time i think this feature will be good because you know if youtubers are actually running sta stadiums they can invite subscribers over to their stadium and then if subscribers run their own stadium the youtubers can go to their stadium that would be good for streaming and the permanent features are my stadium you can re-challenge every gym in the game as many times as you like. I'm god you cannot even do that. Currently. Festival Plaza built into the stadium. And July 1st to September 30th, the season of the battle. This season brings back Pokemon trainers from Kanto to Alola. You can battle all trainers and get clothing items from them. Sometimes you might get a replica of their partner Pokemon. October 1st to December 31st, the season of the Mythicals. This season brings Mythical Pokemon to Dynamax Adventures for a limited time. Volcanion will be spotted in Dynamax Dens if and if 1 million players defeat it, all 1 million players will get a shiny Volcanion similar to the Zara Aura event that happened earlier in the year. So the limited time features are the Mythical Dynamax Adventures and the Volcanion Dynamax Raids. And the permanent features being you can keep the Mythicals once the event is over and November 19th to December 31st the bonus season this bonus season will run over the season of the mythicals which you can transfer all your Pokemon straight to Pokemon Sword 2 and Pokemon Shield 2 without opening Pokemon Home so for Pokemon Sword and Shield 2 this game my mind has been going bonkers on what pokemon game we could get for 2021 i was thinking we could get either sword and shield 2 or the diamond and pearl remakes but we'll get onto sword and shield 2 in another video so Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Remakes 
I would personally like to see these be called Chemical Diamond and Physical Pearl. So, I don't think the whole Gala engine would even work for these remakes. I think they'll go back to the X and Y engine. We'll make it polished up a bit and make the graphics look better. Like them. Maybe like that. Maybe bring back the Megas and stuff. Because I don't think A sword and shield style diamond and pearl remake would even work. And the next thing I would like to see is eShop ports of almost every Pokemon game of all time. Like, if you think about it, a collection on the a collection on the Switch, like, in a singular cartridge, would be too much value for all these games. So if you think about it, having them separately on the eShop is, is probably the better idea. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison on what Omega Ruby could look like on the Switch. So I think with this, they could release Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and for the first time outside of Japan, Pokemon Green, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, all for five thirty nine, and will be the first to make me shop. Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and Fire Red and Leaf Green will get added a bit later on but the ones that need some reworking are Diamond Pearl Platinum Heart Gold Soul Silver Black White Black 2 White 2 XY and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire all those games I just mentioned might need a whole bunch of reworking if you want the game to work on one screen and the only changes to these games are Pokemon Home Support and Widescreen. And if you, in case you're wondering where Sun and Moon is, I think Sun and Moon will be a full release of Sun Deluxe and Moon Deluxe. Like I mentioned in a Pokemon Direct earlier in the year. And I think this would be the only to have new features. And this could have an additional story mode as seen in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This could be updated to feature the Pokemon from the Gala region. And they kind of have the, you know, Figure some way to, for Pokey Pelago to work on one screen. And the final thing I'd like to mention is Detective Pikachu. So, for the Detective Pikachu game, there should be a sequel in development, as said in the Pokemon Investors Meeting. In 2019. So. I've been waiting for a sequel. To this game. For a while. And I don't know why I had to bring up. Pokemon Detective Pikachu. In case you're confused. Detective Pikachu. And Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Are two separate things. Detective Pikachu is the game. And Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Is the film. Yeah. I love this movie. So why not? A sequel. Give us news. About it. And confirm who will be reprising their roles. In the sequel. And I personally like to see Pichu. 
in the new in the next Detective Pikachu film. And weird that some Pokemon that appeared in the game didn't appear in the movie. Like Plusle and Minin were bouncing on a Snorlax in Detective Pikachu, but they were nowhere to be seen in the movie. And like literally doesn't make sense. So guys, what would you like to see for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notifications on. Finally, don't forget to leave a comment when you've subscribed. BB-8, out.